There are several gorgeous all-electric or plug-in hybrid vehicles available in the luxury performance category. If you are looking to buy a distinctive luxury vehicle with out-of-this-world performance, these Executive Express rockets provide comfort and looks with plenty of power. What's not to like about the BMW i8? Just check it out. The beautiful flow uh, sculpted design. And did you notice it has scissor doors? But it is actually a plug-in hybrid. It is a gas-powered and electric-powered vehicle. Putting the two together produces incredible torque and power. So you can take the lightness of the carbon fiber and accelerate it very, very rapidly using a three-cylinder turbocharged engine combined with an electric motor. The car is a plug-in hybrid. You charge the battery by plugging it in, and then the car will go about 30 kilometers on the battery all by itself. But of course, if you need to go farther than that, the gasoline motor kicks in and behaves like a gas-electric hybrid, and will take you down to Florida if you want. Just keep putting gas in the car. The best of both worlds, if you're looking to have a midlife crisis, and you happen to have about 150 grand in your pocket, this is your car. Like BMW and Audi, Mercedes-Benz not to be left out, they're electrifying their vehicles as well. This is the S550e. It's a bi-turbo V6, produces 436 horsepower and 479 pounds-feet of torque, but it can also go 35 kilometers just on the battery alone. So when you put the battery and the gas motor together, you're averaging about 10 liters per hundred. That is pretty good for a huge and very heavy five-passenger sedan like this beautiful Mercedes. Of course, every toy conceivable in here and a lot of green cred too. So if you have about 125,000 to spare and you're looking for all the luxury on the planet and still get fantastic fuel economy, the Mercedes S550e plug-in hybrid. So as you might expect with a Porsche, they're beautifully built. Look at those gorgeous wheels, and the lovely Porsche emblem, and those gorgeous, they say Porsche, but they're actually Brembo brakes. The manufacturers are struggling to reduce weight in the vehicles and to increase performance and fuel consumption in all of their engines. One way to do that is to add an electric motor to the car's drivetrain. And so for some period of time while you're driving, the electric motor, which doesn't use gasoline obviously, can drive the car rather than the gasoline motor. Cayenne has 420 horsepower, 406 pounds feet of torque. It goes zero to 100 in 5.9 seconds and has a top speed of over 250 kilometers an hour. However, when it's running on both the combination of electric and gasoline, it averages just a scant five liters per 100 kilometers. These are the kinds of numbers that the manufacturers are trying to achieve while still giving the drivability and performance that the consumer demands. Arguably one of the greatest cars ever made on the planet. Why? Well, yes, it runs on electricity, but the technology that's in these cars is absolutely spectacular. Come and let's have a look and I'll show you. So this is the Tesla Model S. It's one of the first Teslas that they made that's a family sedan. But this family sedan goes zero to 100 kilometers an hour in under four seconds. And if you get the ludicrous mode, under three seconds. That's insane. Beside it is the brand new Model X. So this is more like a sport utility vehicle. All wheel drive, falcon wing doors that you can see opening up on there. It has a trunk in the front. They call it a frunk in Tesla speak. And a trunk in the back and lots of room for five, seven if you need it to. So you're looking at two of the most beautiful cars on the planet, granted, but also the most technically sophisticated cars. Right from the 17 inch touchscreen that's in the dash to the beautiful lines of the car, the door handles which open as you approach the car, the technology, I could go on and on about it, it's brilliant. 